few more free tips to be used on Betfair. They are intended as trading tips rather than straight bets. And they are for tomorrow morning, pretty early. Set your alarm. Before I do those, let's have a look at yesterday's matches. Okay, the first one was Manorino or Indikinech. I did say at the time that my gut feeling was Manorino was going to take it. The stats didn't back that up. And so I went with Rindikinech to win in three. And the stats lied to me. Or Rindikinech had a bad day. So he started okay, took a 2-0 lead, broken straight back. They went into a tie break. Reasonably close. Till the very end, Manorino took it. Second set, pretty one-sided. Rindikinech broken in his first and last service games. Should have gone with my gut, but more often than not, um, the stats tell the truth. If you read them right. Either way, wasn't a good one. The other one was better. Not if you used it as a punting tip, because I was going for Sinia Cobra to win in three. The trade was to lay Sinia Cobra around about 1.3. Uh, I forget where I was supposed to take the liability out, but then it was to back Sinia Cobra at 2.2. So we traded this one in the Tennis Profits chat room this evening. So in the first game, here you can see Potter over serve first, she faced a break point. Now that break point took us to, I forget if it, if it was 1.36 or 1.37. I do prefer to enter at break point because there's always a chance that the server is going to recover. So I did get in at break point, and as you can see, she did recover. Not only that, she then broke serve and held serve, by which time I'd taken the liability out. We'd pretty much by that time reached 2.2. Uh, it was perhaps in the fourth game where it actually triggered. What I didn't do, because Sinekova had shown pretty much nothing apart from having that first break point, I sort of hedged, but had a little bit more profit on Sinekova in case she woke up. And as you can see from that, she didn't really. The first time she held, and the only time she held in the set, was when she was 5 love down. Podoroska took the set. So I kept the same position going into... The second set, when she struggled, I think it was in the first game, I decided to shift all the uh, profit onto Podoroska. Pretty sure it was in that game. As you see there, she went for ball up down, finally held. And was broken yet again. So just one hold in each, uh, in each set. So in terms of picking the winner, wrong. In terms of a trade, pretty good. Right, let's have a look at today's. I've got two. They're from WTA Tokyo. Pretty early, so it's for the uh, it's for the night owls. Not got a lot of choice. It's... Okay, the first one is Pavlyuchenkova against Alexandrova. They've met once before, that was in October 2018, indoors, she won in straight sets. Hard win percentages, better for Alexandrova. Two decent wins for Pavlyuchenko this week, both as underdog. She made the second round at the US Open, not had too much success uh, this year on hard courts. Alexandrova beat Samsonova in the last round straight sets. She reached the third round at the US Open. Final in Cleveland, quarterfinals in Miami, third round of the Australian Open. 12-month hard stats are better for Alexandrova. Pavlyuchenkova has raised a level this week. She's had a bit of help from her, her opponents. They haven't uh, performed anywhere near the best, especially Vekic in the first round. Looking to back Alexandrova, bear in mind she starts at the moment is 1.59. That may change slightly before match time. Back Alexandrova around 2.2 to 2.3, remove liability at 1.65. If she does get an early break of serve, lay her and remove the liability if Pavlyuchenkova then has a break point. 
Okay, the second match is Kazakina against Pagula. They have played once before. That was in May 2021 on a clay court and she won in straight sets. Hard win percentages are better for Pagula. Kazakina won her last match in two sets as a 1.08 favourite. She wasn't convincing at all. She beat Kostyuk in the first round in three sets. That was a decent win. Kostyuk is no mug on hard courts. Fourth round at the US Open. Third round in Cincinnati. Quarterfinals in Montreal. And she made the final in Adelaide. Easy win for Pagula over Buxa in, the last, in her first match. Uh, fourth round at the US Open. Title in Montreal. Semis in Washington and Miami. Fourth round in Indian Wells. Semis in Dubai. Final in Doha quarterfinals at the Australian Open so she's been a busy girl this year 12 month hard stats better for Pagula on serve um, very slight lead for Kazakina in the return stats Pagula starts 1.39 not unusual for her to start slowly we need that to happen for this one back Pagula around 2.1 to 2.2 liability out at 1.6 and if she should lose the first set back Pagula so that's it for today. Thanks for watching this and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.